Hey guys, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my clinical bag video. A few videos back at this point, I showed you guys what is in my backpack. So what I would take with me on the few days that I do get to go to campus for simulation lab, but I do have a totally separate bag for what I bring to clinical because that really is the only time that I'm leaving my apartment for school related things right now. So it's just easier to keep that all in one bag rather than switching back and forth. So I bring this tote bag with me. This is the Boat Cure New York bag. I got this specific tote bag in my FabFitFun box, but prior to this, I was using a black Kate Spade tote bag that was similar. This one's a little more like flexible and less rigid so I can fit more stuff in it and kind of maneuver stuff around in it better, um, which is why I'm using this one now that I have it. But honestly, you don't need this specific bag. I like a tote bag because I think it's just a little bit easier. Everything fits inside of here. So this is really all that I have to carry, which is so nice rather than carrying a bunch of extra things or like a whole backpack to clinical. So let's just jump in. Um, I'll, once again, this is the tote bag that I use. It's got pockets on the side, but I don't have anything in those pockets. I do have a little keychain on the one zipper on the side just to kind of help identify that it's mine. You know, it's a black tote bag. A lot of people have black tote bags. So just to make sure that it doesn't get mixed up, I have this little S keychain. It's not focusing very well, but it's got little stethoscope glitters in it. I ordered this off of Etsy. I will link it down below for you guys. And the owner of the shop is so nice and custom ordered the pink stethoscope glitter for me because pink is my favorite color and I wanted it to match. So anyway, like I said, I keep everything in the big giant pocket. So I do usually keep my water bottle in here, but because today is not a clinical day that I'm filming this, my water bottle is actually sitting over there on my counter because I'm using it to drink out of. But I do usually bring my Yeti water bottle and it fits in here. Um, I also have my lunchbox. This is just a plain Vera Bradley lunchbox that I got years ago at this point, I feel like. I remember I got it off of like the outlet sale website. So it was like 10 bucks or something. Any lunchbox will do. In here, I always keep a bunch of extra snacks. So even though I don't have my lunch packed today, I have a bunch of snacks in here. Um, I have like graham cracker cookies, uh, chomps turkey stick. If you guys watch Holly um, Rojek, she always eats these. Um, I have a bunch of napkins, protein bars, fruit sticks. I am always well stocked on snacks for clinical. I don't always eat them clearly since my bag is still pretty full, but it's nice to have little quick things to grab. If I have like a few minutes of downtime and I'm hungry, I can just grab a quick snack out of my lunchbox. And of course I put like an ice pack and actually will pack my lunch in here. And I usually keep some sort of like cheese stick and other like refrigerated snacks in there for the day as well. Also in here, right now I just have, it's empty, but I put a little plastic bag in here for my mask. So I enter the hospital wearing my own personal mask, usually just like a fabric mask. And then they give me a surgical mask to wear for the day. So once I take off my home mask, I put it into this bag just so it's not touching everything in my bag. <laughs> And then I will either wear the one from the hospital home, depending on how annoyed I am with it by the end of the day, or I'll take this one back out and put it on. Um, but my masks are all in the wash right now, so this is empty. Also in here, I have my um, bag where I keep my goggles. My hospital that I'm doing my clinical at does goggles instead of face shields right now. So I have my own pair of goggles. I just wipe them down with one of the wipes every day and then I just keep it in this bag once again so it's not touching everything. Um, you know, there's certainly times that I just throw it into my bag, but I try to keep it in that plastic bag to keep it as contained as possible. Luckily, the floor that I'm working on is a pediatric oncology floor, so COVID isn't really 
too big of an issue there. We don't really have any COVID positive patients on the floor or any really presumed cases. Every once in a while we might get something weird, but it's not really a COVID floor or anything. Um, I also keep a bag with those ear saver things in them. So if my mask is bothering my ears, I can put it on this instead. And I just have a stack of them in case someone I'm working with needs one or whatever. Someone local to my hometown was making these with a 3D printer. So I have like a whole stack of them, which is nice. Um, I also have in here um, just like some folded up printer paper where I write down stuff for the day. I don't have any patient information on here, obviously, because if I did, I would shred it. But we have to do clinical assignments and stuff. So a lot of times I need to take de-identified patient information home um, to work on my assignments. So I use these to write down any important information, notes during the day, if I can't chart it right away, whatever, all goes onto these pieces of paper. And I just always keep extra in my bag. These usually end up in my pocket though. Um, and then I do have a pen in here that's usually on those pieces of paper in my pocket, but of course that is not the only pen. Um, this pen is one of the Paper Mate Enjoy gel pens, which are the best pens ever, but I have more than one pen in here. Also, I have a random alcohol wipe that I'm sure came from somewhere, but I always have alcohol wipes in my pockets, in my bag, everywhere. This probably got taken out of my scrub pocket before I threw my scrubs in the wash, which is how it ended up in this bag. Um, I also keep my wallet in here with my ID and credit cards in case I wanna go down to the cafeteria and buy lunch or just need money. It's important to carry that with me. And also usually my apartment key is in my bag, but it's hanging on, you can't even see it, but it's hanging on the hook by my door so I don't forget to take it with me. Um, and then of course I have my tried and true stethoscope case that I accidentally took a chunk out of the other day in clinical, but I've showed this guy, I've showed this to you guys before, but I will go through it again. It is from Amazon. I will link it down below, but basically I just keep a bunch of pens and pencils in here in this little like side. Oh. Basically, I keep a bunch of pens and pencils in this side pocket as well as some alcohol wipes. And then in this bigger pouch, what all just fell out of here is a hand sanitizer bottle. Um, I have two different pen lights, a little mini notebook in case I ever forget extra printer paper or just don't want to use printer paper that day. I try to be not super wasteful with paper, but sometimes individual like big sheets of paper are easier for what I need to do that day. Um, and then I do have my stethoscope. I just have the Lippmann Classic three and it's this pink color. I don't even think they sell this pink color anymore, but I got it off of Amazon and I have a little like ID tag on it with my name just to make sure that I don't leave without it. Or if I do leave without it, someone knows whose it is because I'm definitely not the only one on my unit with a pink stethoscope right now. So just another way to keep myself organized and not lose anything. So that is everything that I keep in here. And then last but not least, of course, I have my ID badge. So I'm gonna show you what I keep on my ID badge because I think that it could be helpful. So my little badge reel is this tangled um, lantern one right now. I switch it up pretty often. I have one that I'm gonna use for Halloween as well. I usually switch it out by rotation. It just kind of depends, but I will leave the link to this one or the link to this shop down below. Hope actually got me this specific one for my birthday or Christmas or something last year, but that's the one I have on here right now. And then I'm just going to flip my actual badge around so you can't see where I um, have my clinical rotation and so this is just a like emergency card that they gave us from my hospital with like what to do if there's a fire basically and um, different extensions for 
um, if there's a code or fire, et cetera, security numbers, there's all sorts of numbers on the back of here. And then I have these Nurse IQ reference cards. Right now, I ordered more than just these three. I've showed them to you guys before, but I have just these three on my badge right now. So I have the abbreviations one that's just common medical abbreviations in case I'm confused about one and it's two-sided. And then I have the medication calculation one, which just, you know, shows easy ways to calculate medications and just infusion times, conversions and stuff. And then I have this one with hypo and hyper and then all the different ions and stuff. So you can know symptoms and treatments for um, different electrolyte imbalances if you need them. And then I have these other two on the back, which to be honest, I would not recommend because they're not super great quality but these are from a random shop off of etsy but they're paper so i've had to like home laminate them myself which is kind of annoying but they are helpful so i do recommend something like this if you can find a high quality one and if you can find a high quality one let me know where you find it but this one is basically just a pediatric vitals chart so like what is normal for each range like age range basically and then this other one just has common kilograms to pounds conversions. So obviously most of what we do in the hospital is in kilograms, but just for my own knowledge, I like to know what it is in pounds too. So this is just a really quick conversion between um, kilograms and pounds for every pound between two pounds to 90 pounds. So pretty much every child will fit into that category. And then last but not least, I do just have a little mini Sharpie that I attached to this. I bought this like pre-attached to a keychain off of an Etsy shop. So I can link it down below for you guys as well. I see a ton of nurses on my floor with these and it's just super convenient to have it right on your badge because if you need it, you can just pop it off and then you always have a Sharpie on you because it's just literally attached to you. And you don't have to worry, like if you have to put your initials on a dressing or put a date on a dressing or something, or even just to write anything, you always have something attached to you. You don't have to worry about looking around for a pen. I know a lot of people will put like highlighters on their badge and stuff too, but this is already <laughs> kind of heavy as it is. So I don't need anything else on here, but Definitely let me know what you keep on your badge if you're a nurse or a nursing student because I'm always clearly looking to add things to my badge since I have so many things. So if you have something that's super helpful, definitely let me know because I want to put it on my badge too. But that is everything that is in my clinical bag. Obviously, I usually throw my phone in there as well. But yeah, that's everything I bring. Let me know what you guys bring to clinical if you have like a life-saving thing that you bring with you every day. Usually I'll throw like a little thing of Advil in there as well. I just didn't have it in here today because I just recently switched to this specific bag and just didn't move that over yet now that I think about it. But I will definitely add that back as well as a chapstick because I always need chapstick. But that is gonna be it for this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.